So let's start double crocheting. Double crocheting is very similar to single crocheting, but you will start by yarning over first. And I like to use my pointer finger or my thumb, depending on what I want to do, to secure that yarn um, so that it, I don't lose it as it slides off or goes around or whatever. So I'll start by yarning over and securing that with my finger. And then I will insert my hook into the second stitch away from my chain and pull up a loop. So now I've got three loops on my hook. And I'll yarn over and I'm just going to pull that yarn over through two. And now I've got two stitches left on my hook, two loops, excuse me, left on my hook. I'll yarn over again and pull through two. So double crochet is twice as much yarn used as a single crochet and is twice as tall. You can see right there, let's see if I can pull that up and let it focus a little bit on that, our chains and our double crochet right there. So let's keep doing it one more time. I'll yarn over first and secure that with my pointer finger and my thumb, insert my hook into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next stitch, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So let's do this, get a little more yarn, and do this all the way across. Okay, now I've got a row of double crochets here. And so you can see, let's take this hook out and just show you. You can see the difference between single and double crochets. The single crochets are a little bit smaller. Um, because we've turned our work a little bit, the single crochet row is leaning to the right, while the double crochet row, the taller one, is leaning to the left a little bit. But then on the top, we've still got our nice row of Vs to work into. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting!